Can I, can I, can I tell you something as a friend? No. Can I tell you something as a friend? Yes. Come on in if you would, please. You're the shits. You really are. <laughs> You're the worst I heard. To episode number 387 of the Nation of Conversation. I'm your host, Ryan. I'm here with Born Naughty and a Yin Yang Boy. It's That's Bill right. Cash. I'm a sucker for cornrows and manicured toes, Fendi Capri pants, and parasucos. Ooh. And who is this? Well, that would, of course, be Nelly. Nelly. Leader of the St. Lunatics. Saint Lun- <laughs> That's how everyone knows him. St. Lunatics <laughs> leader, Nelly. <laughs> Uh, and You've also watched him in movies, <laughs> right? He's been in movies, and yeah. also no longer a football a, movie. Yeah, the longest yard. What else? Did, have we seen him in something else? I don't know. That was the one I was thinking of. Okay, I think it's just the one, right? Perhaps, probably, perhaps. And I'm here with not a Yin Yang boy, but a eBay War champion for now, yes, Mister Wally Foley. I don't know if belt. I'm one back or two back. I mean, oh, oh my! The belt. Did you, already, did you already look at it? I did. did you just hear scroll me? down. I'm turning. You, I'm turning you up. Keep going. Can you can you hear me now? Yeah, that's better. There we go. Okay. I want to hear you. The people want to oh, hear you. Oh my word! Yep. <laughs> <laughs> we got a fun eBay wars coming up soon. Coming up very soon. Okay. Yep. All right. I'll tell you what it is in a minute. <laughs> okay. I'll explain it. All right. Ghost is back in the netherworld. Thank Ghost God. gone back to the netherworld. Is that what it's called in Minecraft when you go down to the? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I, I think, think it's another, played I it. think it's another world. Anyway, Ghost is back in the Nether world. We'll see him again in uh, two years, probably. Yeah. So here's a quick take: the new Girl Scout cookies I I tried. Yeah. Oh, not great. Okay. It's because Girl Scout cookies that's false. are overrated. That's false. These no. ones though <clears throat> were supposed to be like a brownie with like a caramel on them. Yeah. But the brownies were not soft at all. It of was just like not. a cookie. Yeah, because it's a. Girl Scout cookie. And then the caramel was not gooey even a little bit. It was harder than the cookie. Well, yeah, because it's a Girl Scout cookie. <laughs> you know, you can get soft stuff in Girl Scout cookies, like mm. Tagalongs with peanut butter. Tagalongs are soft. They're Gross. delicious. Gross. But chocolate and peanut butter together is bad, according that to you, That is true. That doesn't true. make any sense. Well, just, you're the only <laughs> but you one. But just keep saying that and <laughs> shoot your own credibility. You are a ridiculous man. <laughs> you are a ridiculous man. Now I want to go home and I wish I, logs. you know what? I wish I hated peanut butter and chocolate and I wouldn't look like this. <laughs> I'd look a lot better. Like 20 pounds better. Uh, maybe 30. Uh, <laughs> NXT released a bunch of dudes and people and ladies. I was going to Google the list and I never really did. It was very odd because last week a ghost... Ghost Mike DeFazio said those NXT cuts are coming. I can feel it. Yep. And not like four days later, <laughs> NXT cuts came. These are. They're like, a little odd. Yeah, like Dakota Kai. She's good, right? I like her. Yeah. Dakota Kai is very good, yes. I like I like her. She I, uh, is older. She's 35, which is considered is old she? in the new Vince McMahon. Which NXT, if you're over 30, you're old, and they don't want to invest time in you. Okay. And she but had a let's chance. Let's bring in 50-year-olds for the main roster. Sure. She had a chance to make the main roster, I guess, and went up and did some tryouts, yeah. and he didn't understand it. What, that she's a good wrestler? She's a good wrestler, and she <laughs> kicks better than most people. <laughs> she did not, he did not understand her, so there was no call coming. So What uh, is this she's doing? She's, she's wrestling? That, that's not what we need. Yeah, so um, so she was cut. And she can be the baby face, the, but she's also excellent as a heel. She did a great job as a heel over the last few years. Did some fun stuff with Raquel Gonzalez. Yeah. I didn't love the way they came together, but once they were together, they were excellent together. And then they broke up, and that was kind of fun. And then they got back together and won the women's tag titles, and then they lost them a day later, and it was just... Yep. Stop, start, stop, start, stop, start. Nothing that's her fault, so... She's out. 
Which is weird because it's like you couldn't have fu- fucking put her anywhere on the main. You couldn't have just made her a tag team partner with anybody. Like, right? Don't get it. Dexter Loomis, guy they invested a lot of time and guy guy yeah. we've invested a lot of time yeah. talking about. Yeah. Twenty twenty one. We talked more about Dexter Loomis I than think I think maybe anybody. He could be a good wrestler, but man, he ruined. And it's this is at least half his fault. Which part? Like the this way release? This, no, the his character being as bad as it was. Well, because I think he, now that he's been released, isn't he cutting like promos of him as an artist and all this? Yeah, he's stuff doing stuff. that stuff still. Yeah, which is awful. When he first showed up, he was just a creep. I actually thought it was decent, but I was nervous where they're going to go with it, and they went in a worse direction than I thought they could. I have. guess the art thing that bothered me with him is that it was caricatures. Is that it was cartoons? Yeah, and that it wasn't like creepy art. No, it was caricatures. Because I could see, like, oh, I'm an artist. I'm going to draw a picture of you before I defeat you in a match. Like, that's kind of weird. It could be. That yeah, could be weird. But you, you can't but have it be caricature. caricature. Yeah. yeah, this, like, look like what you would have. Someone would On harass you into doing while you waited in line for the Ferris wheel. Yeah, yeah <laughs> that's the art he was doing. So maybe he's going to do better art now? I don't know. But he, every time, I will say this about him. Every time he had a match, he was all right. He wasn't bad. He wasn't amazing, but he wasn't bad. And the other thing I'll say about him is his little things where he would pop up and stuff with Indy Hartwell, that wasn't that bad. I mean, it wasn't my favorite storyline ever. No, but when it was just a creep, it was fine. But then it got worse. And then it just he got started, so much weirder. But then don't forget that he started kidnapping people. Yes. And then, like, releasing them in their underwear, which mm-hmm. the undercurrent, I think, was that he, like, Sodomize them or something? Yep. That's right. Not that was a, weird. Yeah, that's not a good thing. That was odd. And then one of them, he Stockholm Syndrome into marrying him. And then know. they got married. And that was kind of it. Yeah. Very odd. Anyway, he's gone. Malcolm Bivens, a guy who he didn't I, do a thing. I've always enjoyed very much. He not, never had a role. No, Even he didn't when didn't do NXT, anything. Before NXT fell apart, he didn't have a role. He was the manager of those two guys. Yes. Yes, he was. <laughs> I don't even remember their names. Nope. Uh, the brothers. Veer, I think. V- not Veer Mahan, and was he it? he would come out and say, I'm going to make Veer come, and then he didn't. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Something like that. Maybe. I don't think it was Veer. I don't think it was Veer. It was the no, other was two. It was the something Gup- brothers. Gupta? Gupta something? I forget. Yeah, I don't remember, but he showed up with them for a while. Then wasn't he with somebody else? And then that just disappeared. And then he had the then diamond he, mine. Then he was Tyler Rust. Then Tyler Rust went to the diamond mine. Then Tyler Rust got fired. <laughs> then he was Diamond Mine's manager, but you never saw him. Anyway, I think he'll be much better off. The story, apparently, with him is that he... Gurjar and Singh. I don't yeah, think that's guys. what their names were in WWE, though. Indusure was the name of the tag team. Indusure. Right, those guys. Yeah. Uh, apparently, he told them he wanted out a while ago. I don't blame him. And they wanted to resign him to a new contract. And he was like, no, you're not even not doing anything with me. Yeah. And so that's why he's gone. Uh, and then a bunch of NXT like regulars, the new 2.0 class, the new class. Yeah. A bunch of those dudes were fired. Parker, Including the one that they Parker up. Bordeaux. Right, wasn't he the new Brock or whatever? That's what they kept saying, and uh, he was fired apparently because he's not very good. Yeah. This is this Imagine is something that. that I thought was funny when I was reading this story. Not funny that people lost their jobs, but funny that this is where we're at. Is that a bunch of these people they released can't work very well, and that's why they got fired. And it's like. That's what happens when you fire or release all the people who can work. Wasn't that the end of it? To make room for the people who, was, who said, can't work. We want to get rid of work. all these older right. indie guys and make it go back to the original training right. roster. Right. And now all of a sudden these training roster folks can't work after six weeks. And they're bad on TV. What a surprise. Yeah. Because the don't original know what was a training roster was on maybe local TV. Yeah, it was yeah. not a televised product. Good grief. What are they supposed to do? They're not supposed to come in and be good. This is a developmental. It's amazing how poorly run this is. It's so it's, stupid. It's mind-boggling. So even like Indy Hartwell's partner there, or Persia Parati, 
was on TV a ton. She's out. And um, like we said, Parker Bordeaux, whatever the fuck his name was in NXT, who looked awesome, like a Brock Lesnar dude, and they made him look fat, and they shaved his head. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> they made him look stupid. He was fired, too. Uh, so, yeah, a lot of them are gone, and today we found out that Roderick Strong has asked for his release again, which apparently he's asked several times for, and they keep saying, no, we have plans for you. And do they? It's like, you, have you haven't. No. You keep putting me with this diamond mine and new people because you keep firing everybody, <laughs> and then you give me new people for diamond mine. Then you took the Cruiserweight Championship and retired it. Got rid of the Cruiserweight Championship, so I don't even have that. Yikes. My wife was fired. All of Ooh. my friends left. Please just let me quit. Am I gonna? Jesus. I don't think so. No, of course not, because they're assholes. I don't think so. I think it's funny. It's several times asked for his <laughs> And also in the story it said, expected he expected to be fired multiple times and was disappointed to find out he wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, great, I'll be on this list. Nope. Why oh, you're gonna just, fire my wife? Why, why not just, just go, go out onto like TV and just do a bad job then? Just like force their hand. I guess that would hurt your overall. You wouldn't do business, then you wouldn't get another job. I guess. Yeah, but people know how stressed the situation is. They're they're not gonna be like, all right, well. Who uh, knows? I don't know. Who knows? What a mess! What a mess! And a bunch of these people were in storylines and just dropped. Yeah, I heard that creative was like, oh, uh, like this was a thing that was happening. Yeah. And I was just not there. They were using all these people for something, and now you're gone I with no like explanation. The idea is to just get rid of NXT. That's what I asked the ghost. Is it going to just die? They're actively trying to kill it, it seems like. Ghost said that it's going to go back onto the network, but why? <laughs> You can't invest anything into this, so what's the point of having it? I don't know. I don't understand. All right, moving on to other news. FTR had their match against each other for the Owen Hart tournament. Solid good, match. A good match, yeah. I enjoyed fun. it. You guys watch it? We did. Five minutes before coming down here. There you go, but you still watch it. Okay. Got you watch wrestling. Yeah. Suckers. Uh, Juice Robinson said he was leaving New Japan. What he meant was... Kayfabe, I'm leaving to go to Bullet Club. So he's a bad guy now. Is that a good thing? I don't know. Maybe. Fresh paint of coat. Okay. Maybe. Uh, yeah, I said that wrong. Cause okay. That's, uh, <laughs> like that's the wrestling phrase. That's the Bruce Pritchard. He messed it up, I think, once. and Or somebody messed it up, and he kept saying it over and over again wrong. It, yeah, uh, it just it, it stuck in my head. I'm like, fresh paint of coat. Did he say that wrong? Fresh yes. paint of coat. Fresh coat of paint. Oh, yeah, he did. Okay. Yep. <laughs> That's a wrestling term. Anyway, Juice is now called Rock Hard Juice Robinson, which I think is funny. I like that. Yeah, that's funny. Oh, <laughs> oh, just, got boners. Isn't that part of his thing? Is that he just likes he, to go hunt down Japanese women? <laughs> oh, Jesus. He did say that in the middle of a match. He got out of the ring and he went to the crowd and said... <laughs> What did he say? I'm going to be knee deep in, in Japanese pussy tonight or something? <laughs> I've heard him he yelled say that. At, he, he yelled it to the crowd. Oh I'll be knee God. deep in Japanese pussy tonight. And he, in the middle he of his match. Said something I, like an interview said, I know eventually my kid's going to have a Japanese mother or something like that. <laughs> Not anymore. He's married to Tony Storm. Is he? Yeah. I didn't know that. Married to Tony Good Storm. Good job. Good job by you. Good job by New Japan putting Wheeler Utah in the best of the Super Juniors. Okay, yeah. that's good. Also, our boy, your boy, yeah, I guess. Boy. No, I thought he was your boy. No, he's the ghost the boy. The sauce, Alex Zane. Which I misspelled here, but Alex Zane, the guy who jumped over a car legitimately. He's good, but not my guy. I he thought he was one of your guys. jumped over a car? No, because he's, uh, he's he a 4th of July guy, so yeah. definitely not mine. Oh, dear God, no. He was the the big, big standout on the first time we watched that show. Got signed by NXT, was called something else. Yeah, Ari something, else. something. Sterling? Is that it? I have no idea. And didn't do a thing, and then was fired. <laughs> and now he's back to cool Alex Zane. So those two guys are going to be best in the Super Juniors. 
Is that how you spelled the name? Zayn? It might not be. Z A Y N E. Y N E. Okay. There's an E. Okay. Anyway. I could not find it. Ah, here we go. Go he, ahead. He jumped over a car, I think. There was a clip on. It wasn't during the pay per view. I think it was like, oh, there's a car here. I'm going to jump over it now. He had a match on one of those stupid shows where it was him and Blake Christian or whatever the other guy that was briefly in NXT. Yeah. yeah. Yep. It was clearly the best one on the show, but also still it was on the show, so I hated it. Hmm. Uh, things I didn't hate. Vampiro and Jeff Jarrett squared off at Triple Mania Chapter One, which I think is a funny Chapter thing One. To say yes, apparently it's called Triple Mania Chapter One. What's Chapter Two? Oh, in in I guess summer when the, it's supposed the to be. The big one. Yeah, because when is it? August. Yeah, I don't know, but I'm all, I'm all in for Vampiro and Jeff Jarrett doing things on Triple Mania and being weird. I'm sure this is weird. I'm sure it was weird. I saw the one clip of him doing a heel kick or whatever, and it didn't look terrible. Okay. I won't say it looked good, (laughs) but it didn't look terrible. Impero's been hiding out, playing PlayStation 4. Yeah, well. (laughs) His weird coffin kitchen. Oh, yeah, the slab. (laughs) Did they they hit his music? Let's hope. Uh, yeah, he never would have came out of it. <laughs> he'd, just be, he'd still be standing there days later, <laughs> waiting. All right, time for a segment to be named later. Bill? So just I wanted to have a brief conversation based on something we talked about last week. Okay. That made, we all were laughing, but Wally especially is losing it. When you and Mike went full old man. <laughs> you talk about how you didn't play video games and do a bunch of other stuff because instead Mike was too busy watching Columbo. Yeah, <laughs> and then you said what? Well, I watched Frasier. I watched all like fifteen episodes of Frasier, fifteen seasons. So then I thought about it for a while. And I was like, is there anything like what do I do? That's what do I watch? This old man. Mm-hmm. You are legitimately the, an old man in all ways. Maybe you don't watch the shows, but you are you are, you are an old soul. I you watch cable soul. news. Jeopardy. I do watch news. Jeopardy. I don't watch Jeopardy a ton, but I do like it when I watch it. That's an old man. What thing. I came up with though, because I'm like, I, I just watched The Shield. That's not super old no, yet. No. But the other night, I was looking for something to watch and I couldn't find anything, so I just threw on uh, Saving Private Ryan, and I thought that's a pretty old man thing yeah. to watch, yeah. <laughs> just for fun to rewatch Saving yeah. Private Ryan. Yeah, yeah that's, that's an old man. Thing. <laughs> so, Wally, what do you got? You must have something. An old man thing that I like to watch. He huh? hasn't taken that next step. I don't I feel think. like he's he started to. Like uh, I mean, he sits in a diner by himself and reads. That is true. I don't know if that's an At old man counter. thing or just a creep. It's not a creep. Well. Maybe. I don't know if that's a creep. Where was I the other night that someone that is an old man thing, though. reading? It's that definitely an old man, man move. Thing. Yeah. I've done <laughs> reading. that. Reading. That's yeah. an old man thing, you too. <laughs> Who reads anymore? I haven't read a book since 1996. I'm almost done with the Tale of Two Cities. Oof. I'm under 60 pages. I'm getting there. I'm halfway through the second Dune book. So. Okay. See? Yeah. There. You're both yeah. old. Do you do crossword puzzles? Uh, my dad does. So if I'm at the house, I'll like I'll pick it up and try to help him out, fill it in. <laughs> I've got a crossword puzzle app on my phone, so if I'm bored, I'll. I'll do wow, it. that is like half an old man. <laughs> it's on my it's phone. Always, it's on his phone, yeah. <laughs> so I'm not old because it's on my phone. Do you play Sudoku? I used to. Love I do Sudoku. like Sudoku. Okay. Sudoku. Even awesome. though I can't pronounce it, I always say it wrong. Which maybe do you use a map when you? Uh, drive around your car? Do you use an actual map, a physical map in any way? Well, most yeah. of the time I know where I'm going. Mm. When you went on your trip, did you use a physical map? No. Oh, oh physical map? Never, never used a okay. physical map. Right. I have, but not in a very long time. Like, the mm. last time I used a physical map, if you can call it that, was when I, like, printed out MapQuest directions. Mm. That kind of counts. Do you own a pair of shoes that are New Balances? Not anymore. No, I don't. <laughs> not I <have>. anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I said, no, it was... My aunt gave them to me once and said, I bought this for your uncle. He will not wear them. Do you want them? And I was like, I guess so. And then they were the most comfortable running shoes I owned for a long time. They're very comfortable Until shoes. I ran through them. Old men know how to wear shoes. They're comfortable. Yeah. I don't know. What else? What else do old men do? They watch Columbo, apparently. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I watch anything that's old. When I was living by myself, what, like five, six years ago now? I didn't have 
uh, any streaming things. Oh, so you I, liked Net Me TV. I liked Me TV. I when, like me when TV. I had it. So. That's very old. Yeah. That is. That's Mash and things yeah. like that. Right. Yeah. Right. And the the old Batman. What does yeah. my dad watch all the time? Gunsmoke. He oh, guys yeah. watch Gunsmoke. Yeah, you gotta have the Gunsmoke, right? Hogan's Heroes. That was oh, a good one. Mm. Yep. Bob. Bob. Yeah. Bought. <laughs> he seasons bought, on DVD. He bought Hogan's <laughs> Heroes on DVD all the time. Um, <laughs> he probably still watches that too. He might. Yeah, I'd say probably the uh, the crosswords and the reading at a at a. Tying yourself on a down and reading. <laughs> yeah. Those are probably the oldest things that I do. Okay. Uh, Magnum PI. That's where Magnum PI is one of my at, things. And that's old. The new one or the either way. It's oh old. no, old one. Either way, it's old. <laughs> yeah, right. No, old one. Classic. <laughs> do you ever watch CBS sitcoms? No. Or not even sitcoms, CBS drama. I watch Survivor. Does that count as an old man thing? Uh, that's a middle aged thing. It is a middle aged yeah. thing. Yeah. I love me some Survivor. I don't watch The Amazing Race or anything like that. You watch or... NCIS? No, fuck no. Oh, Can't God. That. That's a step That's too far. Thing. That is a step too far. I did far. at one point watch like a season or two of it when I was living with my parents many years ago. Mm-hmm. And I can say many years ago because it's been on the air for, I don't know, 75 been, seasons yeah, or something. Yeah, seriously. Our whole lives. How do, Why does the Navy have so much crime? That's what I like to say. What the <laughs> so hell's going on in our military where they have Jag so many... Why are there so many 19 murders? 19 seasons. It started in 2003. <sighs> How many murders a year does the Navy actually have? Too What's many, going on? Too many. <laughs> I, and it's all over the country. Honestly, Los I Angeles, didn't realize New York. NCIS stood for Naval Criminal Investigation. Yeah, there's like yeah. multiple <laughs> NCISs all over the country. All over, yeah. Oh, that's where I saw it. Oh, so that's the one with that girl. This weekend, okay. I was at a brewery, and they, it's just basically like a small bar and then a bunch of picnic tables. And it was like a weird thing, because it was down in Delmar, so it was like people that ride their bikes there, families, lots of small children running around. Mm. There was one guy sitting at the end of a picnic table by himself, reading a book out in the sun, mm. with like a million people around him just sitting quietly reading a book. Do that in your bucket mm. backyard, my guy. Yeah. yeah. I, what are you doing? Yeah. All right, eBay war. So, eBay wars, I don't know yes. if I'm at 20 or 19. I feel bad now that I have. No, oh, I think you, you, you forced us to give you 20, right. so you have a chance to tie tonight. I think we're tied. Then, Is this actually. just like a picture? This would get us taken off the air if we were uh, yeah, if we're on we're the on air YouTube, right now. We're live on YouTube. We're live on YouTube. Do they'd, you, they'd pull this. Do you tweet out or do you like post the link I in the was, show notes? I was posting them, but I haven't lately. I feel but like maybe this, I should do this one. This one you have to. This is an 8x10 okay. of Ric Flair uh-huh. wrestling against... Who is that? There's an R on there. I have no idea. I don't know who that guy is. Wrestling somebody. This has got to be in the 80s. It's definitely an 80s match. It's an NWA <laughs> it's match. Earlier, yeah. NWA match. And uh, Flair's trunks are being pulled down. It's just a picture of his fucking white ass. Yep. <laughs> Rick Flair's yep. white ass. Ready for the description on this thing? I sure am. This is an 80s pro wrestling photo. Ric Flair departs. That's what it says. Departs. Eight by ten by four. Get a fifth free. Wally, you could do that. Uh, one was already sold. Three more are available, which doesn't make sense with the math there. Eighties <laughs> wrestling photos. Oh, this is great. Eighties. Hold on. Let me back up. There's more. I will. This starts. I will refund shipping when you buy more than one. You must pay up front. First example, you buy three pictures. eBay will add fifteen dollars shipping. I will refund ten. What? Check this math out for me. <laughs> buy four, get one free. Five dollars shipping anywhere in the USA. Eighties wrestling photos. I will be posting up to two hundred plus wrestling photos from years nineteen eighty six through nineteen ninety. This is all in all caps. Which I took during those years. So this guy took this picture. So, I am the owner of these negatives. You can say you bought directly from a photographer who took the picture. I worked several for several magazines, including WCW, NWA, Continental Championship Wrestling, and other independent groups. You may have seen these on covers and centerfolds uh, of pro centerfold. wrestling industry. <laughs> it, it is a centerfold. 
Insider Wrestling, The Wrestler, and other magazines. Each photo is a glossy 8x10. Shipping is $5. Blah, 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 blah. More shipping stuff. Yeah, Notice. Very confusing. The post office is very slow now. <laughs> okay. It may take up to 10 days even if you use first class mail. That can't be true. <laughs> that's, that's not accurate. There it might go. take him nine days to get to the post office. This is what is something saying. else. He took this flare <laughs> butt picture. Well, you have to guess first. Oh, Jesus. What do you think a flare now, glossy 8x10 of his butt? Just for one picture. For one photo. All right. What does this cost? Uh, I'm going to have to get this. This is tough. I'm going to have to get this and frame oh, okay. it and put it down here. I don't know why I'll you go haven't flare already. Butt picture. Who is this guy? He's wrestling. I have no idea. There's an R on his boot, and that's not helping me <clears> at all. No, it's not. I can't. I cannot decipher this man. I'm gonna say 1999. dollars ninety nine. So the math yes. of this is hard for me because it's a photographer selling his own stuff, so he wants a bunch of money. Mm-hmm. But, but he has said he has a negative, so it's not like this not, is a one of a kind. He can a make a yeah, million yeah, copies, yeah, right? You said nineteen ninety nine. Yes. Mm. Let's say twenty seven dollars. All right, give me a little breather. <sighs> I, I figured nineteen ninety nine because Ryan did say that he might have to get this. So I was like, "There's no way Can't he's paying too much for <laughs> this." A flare butt picture <laughs> is not worth nineteen ninety nine. Oh no! Is in fact worth. seven dollars and ninety nine cents. That's it. So we both are wrong. Seven dollars. Yeah, he didn't do the. Man, man, man. Man. Oh, I blew no, it. He did it. Oh, I didn't do the. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, so I, I retain. I, I guess. <laughs> I retain. That's a double oh. count out. Is what just happened. Damn it! I ruined my own thing. You got double counted out on this one. The the crowd is booing. Right now. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> oh, you were both over, and I screwed it up. Damn it! Whatever. Se- what was it? Seven. Seven ninety nine. So yeah, you got to order. Well, you got to order a lot to see how the math works out. Order at least three so to see if you can get a discount. Can you order different pictures? Yeah, you want a different picture? All, all of them count I want towards this. Every 80s wrestler <laughs> butt. I want you to scroll through and find those. All their butts? Yeah. Uh, They're all the same price. That's their problem. I want Red Rooster's butt. Red Rooster's in here, but it's not his butt. Mm, I don't want it, then. This is him. I want Greg Valentine's butt. Staring at Nikita Koloff. I want Nikita Koloff's butt. Just two butts. Yep. Two, two butts <laughs> smushing each other. Two butts smushing. Oh, I can't believe I blew that. Now on my laptop to do another one. Okay, I'm going to do another one. Bonus round. No. Oh. Bonus round since I screwed that up. All right. I'm going to show you this. This thing was going to be next week. So this is a Stone Cold Steve Austin okay. cooler. Is it Igloo? Is an there, igloo. Okay. It is an igloo. It says one hundred percent ass whooping. <laughs> that's a that's a decent. Yeah, okay. All right, all right, all right. All right. This yeah, time I won't. Cool. We'll try not to fuck it up. Official WWE authentic Stone Cold Steve Austin igloo. Little Playmate cooler. Little Playmate says the A word. One hundred percent pure A word. Uh, what else we got? Stone Cold Steve Austin authentic WrestleMania thirty eight official. Head of the table, Roman Reigns, logo pin. Roman Reigns lo- is that I a feel bonus? Like he's just like what the hell? Throwing out buzzwords yeah. to get more. Uh, or views. if you buy a cooler, you get a pin. Oh yeah, you do oh, get okay. a pin. All right. Oh, so that jacks the price. And this is sold by a WWE official shop. Oh. Oh. So you get a cooler and some pins with this. That's one hundred percent pure whoop ass cooler. And the this, seller is, is the, the WWE shop? Yeah, apparently. Or someone is buying it from the... No, it's the, it. the, the WWE is selling shit on eBay now. Weird. Okay, so that's the no. item. It's a cooler. It's sold by WWE. It is not a vintage item, but it's a stupid looking cooler. What does this cost? It's a cooler. Shitty cooler. $35. Mm-hmm. Okay. Six dollars. Damn. I think Bill's got it. The answer is. And this time we're not, we're gonna have a winner. Forty nine dollars. Forty nine. Ninety nine. You know what? I cents. knew he, they said Roman Reigns pen. I should have known. Yep. 
So while you're up by one more, even though there was some shenanigans on my part there. Trying to screw you, Bill. Shenanigans for sure. Trying to Mm -hmm. screw you. All right, it's time for Free Guy, a movie that we watched because a wrestler was in it. Yes. That wasn't The Rock, but then The Rock ended up being in it, right? Yep. The Rock was in Free Guy. Yes, he was. like a secret character. Uh, I did not. I had to like look. I had to Google it. I I assume he was the big jacked Ryan Reynolds. No. No. That that is is the the real wrestler. The other wrestler. Whose name okay. was... I have no idea who the Aaron Rock... Aaron Reed. I have no idea who The Rock was on. All right. I, I had will... to Google it. I didn't know. Okay. I will let you know. Go ahead. All right. So we start off with Ryan Reynolds narrating about the sunglasses people in Free City. He's, he calls them heroes. Uh, we see Channing Tatum is one of these sunglass people. And he... Oh, he was there at the beginning? Yep. Oh, I missed that. that. Was him. Uh, he's... He gets this cool action scene where he steals it. Or oh, he, he, I did uh, not know it was him. He parachutes and then steals a car, and he's talking to this hot lady, and blah, blah, blah. And then Guy, who is the name of Ryan Reynolds' character, <clears throat> he wakes up and narrates a bit about his life, and everyone in Free City knows him. All the people that he talks to know his name. The non-sunglasses. Yep, non-sunglasses people. His best friend is a security guard named Buddy. Guy and Buddy. Yep, Guy and Buddy. He's a security guard at the bank where both of them work. Guy wants a girlfriend, and they talk about that while the bank is being robbed. And they're just, they just lie, lie down on the ground and just let the bank be robbed. Two sunglasses people meet in an alley. There's a sketchy guy who apparently was voiced by Hugh Jackman. Oh. I saw that in the Google as well, but yeah, I had no idea. He gives the hot girl, who ends up being known as Molotov, a map to a video clip. We go back to Guy and Buddy are walking down the street. When Molotov walks by him, she's singing a song. Guy does not say his usual catchphrase to her, which she was expecting. Instead, he says he loves that song. It is a good song. Yeah, it, it is. Um, what was the song? Fantasy by Mariah Carey? Yes, sir. Mm. <clears throat> I believe, right? That was the one? It was definitely Mariah right. Carey. Yes, Fantasy, yes. Uh, she walks away, and he says that she's his dream girl. He's going to go tr- try to talk to her, even though she's got, she's got the sunglasses on. She's a sunglass person, and they don't talk to sunglass people. He almost catches her attention, but then it gets smashed by a train. Hmm. He pans out of the game to see a girl in a coffee shop. Her name's Millie. And then she sees an ad for the next version of the game, or the supposed update for Free City 2. <clears throat> she starts to tell the barista about her lawsuit against the maker of the of Free City, but the barista does not give a shit. It also, at least I thought at this point, that like, she just was playing the game and like trying to say, like, oh, no, 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 I, like, I'm not just sitting here for five hours playing a video game. This is for a reason. Mm-hmm. Uh, guy wakes up the next day. And starts his day normal again, but asks for a cappuccino instead of his normal coffee. And all the other NPCs start staring at him until he changes his mind. Uh, At work, another robber comes in, and this is The Rock. This voice is The Rock. Mm -hmm. Mm. Guy decides to try to get his sunglasses because he sees the hot girl walking outside. And I like the, I like how they go to like the actual gamer, the gamer girl, and her little sister goes, "Waste that motherfucker!" Hmm. <laughs> yep. Um, he fights the robber and shoots him with his own gun, and then takes the sunglasses. Guy runs outside and puts the sunglasses on, and he sees all the in-game content that players can see, and he's super freaked out by this, obviously. Another player dies in front of him, and he picks up the money, which is He's crazy because he, there, yeah. Yeah, he, he, he checks his bank account every day, and it's always $178 or something. Something like that. Um, <clears throat> he picks up the money. Then we go back to the real world. We meet Mouser and Keys. Uh, they both work for the company that puts out Free City, and they talk about what Guy did, and they try to ban the player who is playing as Guy, but they can't because obviously he's an NPC. So they log on as their characters, and Guy has bought a pair of sneakers that he he has been wanting for a while. Keys and Mouser roll up in a dirty cop outfit and a pink rabbit suit. 
They yell to Guy, and they call him Blue Shirt Guy, to take off his skin and not to hack the NPCs again. And Guy is thor- thoroughly confused. He, he, doesn't, he wants to obey them, but he doesn't know what they're saying. They start shooting at him, but he escapes, and they chase him. Guy uses the sneakers' uh, super jump ability, and he uses it about 50% effectively. I'll give him that. Yeah, he jumps high, <laughs> doesn't land well. No. Uh, and he tries to explain about how he got the sunglasses, but they don't listen to him. They use their developer skills to catch up, but Guy jumps off and uses a bubble suit to land on the ground safely. They hit him with their car and kill him. Keys says the that back in the real world, Keys says the number of online players didn't change after they killed him, and he thinks that they should tell they should tell Antoine, who is the head developer. Then we see an old tape of an interview with Keys and Millie from the past about their game called Life Itself. This was basically just a game where AI it's an AI game where NPCs would actually learn and change and just Grow. Sounds boring. It does sound fucking boring. <laughs> Is this supposed to be Fortnite or Grand Theft Auto or the two of them combined? The uh, Free City. Um, I feel like... Well, you're not supposed Fortnite, to be like fighting. Yeah, I feel like the Fortnite stuff is only because they're the actual developers and they can change the code to, mm. to do whatever they want. But the it feels like um, uh, Grand Theft Auto. Okay. Yeah. 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 Um, their game is super boring. Oh, Keys goes home and Millie's in his apartment. They're not supposed to talk because of the lawsuit. She thinks Antoine stole their game, uh, their their AI from the game, the code for their AI from their game to use in Free City. But Keys tells her that she has to leave. Guy wakes up the next day, and Millie logs on and decides to go try to get the video clip that shows proof that Antoine stole their code to use in his game. She's scouting a another player's um, safe house, and a guy walks up behind her. She's curious who he is, but they get spotted by the guards. She uses the portal gun to get back to her hideout, and she tells him that he needs to be a higher level by doing the ner- normal murder hobo shit, is what I wrote down, because... Mm. <laughs> It's a Dungeons and Dragons huh. thing. <laughs> <laughs> but Guy says he wouldn't do that. He'd rather be a hero. And she says that if he gets over level 100, then uh, she'll she'll talk to him again. That's a lot of work. Yeah. yeah. Especially not going around killing people and trying to be a, the good guy. Wasn't that an episode of South Park where they're just like killing sheep for one point at a time or yep. something? That's the, the WoW episode, the World of Warcraft yeah. episode, yep. So Guy tries to go around helping all the NPCs, and he dies a few times, but he starts getting better. The real world news talks about Blue Shirt Guy leveling up by being a good guy. We got a bunch of cameos by YouTube streamers, gamers, that kind of thing. And then uh, Jeopardy with Alex Trebek. Yeah. Oh, Mm. man. Nice one. Trebek. Yeah. There's a lot of all um, voices in here, too. Did you see all these people? Oh, yeah. What do we got here? We've got uh, John Krasinski, which yes, he's he's. I don't remember. I don't his remember part. when his part was, but he's he said Hugh, Jack- Hugh Jackman and uh, Dwayne the Rock. Yep, the Dwayne. Uh, Tina Fey. Ha- she hasn't come up she's yet, the, but yeah, she's the oh, mom. Oh right, yeah. I didn't recognize her, but yeah, I know. Who uh, <laughs> and then there's a very very funny cameo later. With, yep. Yeah. Uh, I think that's that's think all that's the it? big ones. There's, a, I mean, all the there's a bunch if you of know streamers. streamers yeah, 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 I, I did not, know. but they're all real people. The only streamers. one, the only one that I actually like recognized was Ninja, Tyler Blevins, Dan T D M. Yeah, I don't know who that is. Jack Septic Eye, yeah, Laser Beam, is. Laser uh, Poking Mane. I I think I've heard of that one. Yeah. But. I saw a thing that was like, if you're like under 25, you know this streamer. If you're under 15, this is the, your streamer. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, guy finally gets over level 100. Uh, oh, shoot. I erased some of them. Okay, guy gets over level <laughs> 100, <laughs> and he goes to talk to Buddy, who's been worried about him. Um, they talk about wearing the sunglasses and how life can be different than their normal monotony. But he doesn't want this. But Buddy does not want to put those sunglasses on. 
Uh, we go back to the real world, and Keys gets a text from Millie asking for help to get the video clip. Uh, he, he uses his developer coding to get her basically into the safe house while the player is out on a mission. He's she, played by the dude from Stranger Things. Oh, yes, yes. That's who the, he is. Yeah. Boyfriend, kind of? I guess. I, yeah. I the the older Things. guy that hangs out with the kids. Yeah, mm-hmm. the older guy. Not guy, the older kid that hangs out with the yeah. younger kids. The creep. Yeah. So she he takes... He reads a book in a diner by himself. <laughs> that kind of creep. Yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> she takes the video clip, but the security alarm goes off and guards show up. She's pinned down, but guy flies in on a motorcycle through the window. Don't know how. And he helps her. She talks to him, and Keys asks her who she's talking to because there aren't any other players in the house. Mm. Million guy escape on a motorcycle and then uh, jump off it to grab onto a hang glider and fly away. Antoine, played by Taika Waititi, who's great, shows up. What is he from besides this? He's a director, actually, yeah. not really an actor. No, yeah. He directed Thor Ragnarok. Mm, didn't he's, see that one. He's yeah. also in Thor Ragnarok. He's the guy made of stone, who's yeah. very funny. Korg, just the big dude. CGI guy who's made of all stones. He was in something else. He's in that, that Hitler uh, youth oh, movie. Um, fuck, what was uh, that? He directed that as Rabbit. well. Jojo oh, Rabbit. Jojo Rabbit. I didn't talk about he did that. that either. Uh, he's in a bunch of stuff. He, he's a funny yeah, guy. He he actually acted in something there's his, else. He that. actually is the one of who made me laugh the most. Like, oh, really? Th- there's oh, one, yeah. scene he, one scene with him made me laugh the hardest He was later on. Wow. Oh my god, he played Adolf in Jojo Rabbit. Yeah, I, I yeah, yeah. about that. Um, I think he also directed it too, didn't he? he yes, he, or he wrote it. He, wrote, he does a lot of good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> this uh, is probably just a fun little project for him. Like, oh, I'm going to just be weird for <laughs> three days. Great. So <clears throat> he's, he shows up and he's, a, he's pretty much a big dick. Uh, Keys seems very disinterested in working for Antoine. That's the basic. Uh, guy shows Millie his safe house, and they talk about feeling stuck in their life. She tries to figure out who he actually is in real life, and she thinks he's a hacker or he works for the company, but obviously he's just an NPC. He brings her to go get bubblegum ice cream by the river, which she already loves, bubblegum ice cream, which... Have you guys had that? Is it, mm, no. It feels I, like it's something that doesn't exist. I think it does. I feel like Stewart's has had it or something. Probably does, oh, but okay. it's probably not. But I've not had it because it's gross. Yeah, it doesn't. Also, sound? it's really weird that she, all of the things he loves are the things that she loves. So, but they explain that later. Yeah, there's some creepiness going on there. Yeah, creep, yes. creepy Stranger Things yep, boy. There's some creep going on. So he tries to tell her an awful joke, but she cuts him off. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I, that, was that was the great. other part that made me laugh. I was, that was hilarious. I want to know what the punchline is. <laughs> yeah, right. So what did he say? Like it's, he's saying it very like uh, not PC. <laughs> no, he starts out saying it like something like it's a joke about a homosexual. a homosexual and a priest want to kill a baby or something. <laughs> yeah, like that. somebody in a wheelchair. Like, and then stop. Stop. The next line uh, he says cripple, and and she's like stop. 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 <laughs> Where did you hear that? Well, one of the sunglasses people said it, and uh, everybody else thought it was funny, so I remembered it. <laughs> Yikes. Which is really how sunglasses people are. I'm <laughs> yeah. Yes. That was a great joke. Um, they swing on a swing set. Keys is looking through all the... Because NPC- she loves swings in her real life. Yep. Creepy. Keys is looking through the NPC list, and he sees Guy, and he looks at his code, and it's ridiculously big. Millie and Guy have a heart-to-tart. And Guy kisses her, and real life Millie is stunned. This kind of made me laugh because they they go from the passionate, intimate kiss and pan out to see her just like look Creepily, away, just like, <laughs> like look away from the computer, like what the hell, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> um, so back in the the game, she she's about to log off, so she tells her her real name is Millie, and he's still Guy. She logs off and Keys comes in and tells her the underlying code for Free City is definitely in is their game code. He tells her that guy is the first real AI, which was their goal with with their game. And he's super excited about all the NPCs learning new things, which all the, some of the other NPCs are doing new things. Yes, we um, see the one coffee 
barista make a cappuccino. Yep. yep. The hot girl wrote memoirs about the paper patriarchy yes. I love that yeah. and he's like I mean parts of it weren't great but overall it was pretty good <laughs> <laughs> uh, he, he's super excited and that's when Millie tells him that God kissed her he's like oh he's not coded to do he doesn't know how to do that oh he does <laughs> he, he found the button yeah. <laughs> oh uh, Keys realizes that Free City 2 is not actually an update, but a new game which will delete Free City and and the underlying code, which is proof that Antoine stole from them. Which Millie has to tell Guy that he's just an algorithm, and in order to do that, she brings him to the multiplayer lounge to show him that his world is just a game and that he's an NPC. Obviously, he's upset. He goes to the ocean and throws a rock out to see, out to sea, which hits a boundary wall and disappears. Guy starts walking around making fun of the other NPCs. <laughs> <laughs> if you, Gladys, if you just closed your door, your cats wouldn't get out every freaking day. <laughs> uh, he tells everyone that they and everything else around them is fake before he gets ping-ponged between two cars and dies. <laughs> yeah. Guy goes to see Buddy and asks him what he would do if he found out he wasn't real. But he says it doesn't matter because this moment where he's trying to help his friend, that moment to him is real. Kind of deep, I guess. Nice. So the two of them go to Channing Tatum's safe house. This is awesome. To get the video clip. This I enjoyed mm. so much. This Tatum was fun. is a streamer who the only no, I know I know this guy from a bunch of stuff. I know I know him from stuff. I don't know what. The this only, is an actor, not the, a real streamer. Yeah. Right? The biggest thing I know him from is the the. Uh, Lemony Snicket with, oh, Neil pa- with Neil Patrick Harris. Let me shrink it. Yeah. And he's, he's only watched it when you're hungover. Really funny in that. Um, I think that he means the new <laughs> Lemony Snicket. Yeah, the oh, new one. More? Yeah, that's not, right, not right. the Jim Carrey one, the, the one where they actually went through the books and stuff. Um, Are the other ones not the books? Well, it's very condensed because it's a movie. This was a, uh, a TV show. Even oh, though I watched okay. uh, the original Lemony Schmicket a lot, hungover, I don't remember a single fucking thing about it. <laughs> I remember there being a weird Zero. house with like weird stairs. That's it. Zero. Uh, yeah. No. Wash uh, machine. Dryer. That's dryer. So oh, Tatum, that's dryer. Tatum is a streamer who keeps talking this to is his hilarious. fans. And his streaming name is what? <laughs> it's so funny. Oh, I don't remember. Uh, I'll look it up. Keep going. Um, he gives Guy the video clip and he asks him to say his catchphrase, which he decides to <laughs> say himself. Revenjamin yes. Buttons. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, that was pretty good. <laughs> Revenjamin Buttons. So he's, uh. he's, he's about to say his catchphrase when he just yells, Mom, stop backing me. I can't believe you're backing me right now. I'm trying it's to stream. My stream. <laughs> and this is where Tina Fey goes, or he goes, it's it's not fair or something like that. And she goes, you're 22. Your life's not fair. <laughs> My <laughs> life's not fair. You still live here. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Move out. Um, uh, and then we got some more funny streamer shit. Um, I love that. He keeps yelling to his mom. Yeah. <laughs> don't touch that sock. You won't go to the therapy cut, for the rest of your life. Yeah, the sock thing. And it keeps cutting back between Channing Tatum and the weird actual <laughs> yeah. kid. That's so funny. So well done. Uh, so, guy goes to Millie's Matt safe house. Matt Cardoropel is the actor's name. Matt Cardone? He's in Stranger Things, apparently. Really? He's also in Stranger Things? Apparently. He's Keith. Okay. Don't know that. I think Don't. he works like in the mall or something. I think he like works with the creep in the mall or something. He, his name is Keith in this movie. Is he? Yeah, Keith, the 22-year-old gamer. Huh. <laughs> He's also Keith? Also Keith. Uh, so Guy goes to Millie's safe house where her character is just standing there because she's logged off. Uh, she logs on and he gives her the Wake video up clip. from your coma! <laughs> I don't you understand this, but please. Understand. please. <laughs> that was good, too. Uh, he gives her the video clip and then we get a montage of streamers talking about not killing NPCs anymore and about Blue Shirt Guy, which now Antoine is pissed because pre-sales for Free City 2 are down and he wants Guy booted. But Keys finally tells him that he's a real NPC. Mouser says that if they reboot the servers, then Guy should go back to his original code. Uh, Guy and Millie watch the clip, and it is, in fact, Millie's game. 
Guy says he's seen that island before, and just as he says that, the servers are rebooted, so everything pauses before deleting. <clears throat> Everyone around the world is pissed. Millie gets back online ASAP, and Guy goes back to his normal original self. Millie tries to talk to him, but he doesn't remember anything. Uh, the video clip has been erased, so she needs him to remember where he's seen the island. Uh, Millie and Keys talk about seeing something in Guy's code even after the wipe. He sent her a video clip explaining Guy's original underlying code and how it changed after he saw her for the first time. She does the bank heist mission in order to kidnap Guy and try to make him remember again. Um, so she forces him to put the sunglasses on again, and again, he freaks out because he's seeing all these things he shouldn't. She pulls out a bazooka and shoots a cop car and then kisses him somehow, even though, again, they had already like said that you there's no button for kissing. You can't really do that. She figured it out. Yeah. She figured it out. <clears throat> and this ignites his untapped AI code, so he remembers everything again. He brings her to his apartment where she sees the island and the reflection in his blinds. The island is out at sea, hidden behind an invisible wall, which stops players from getting to it. Yeah, when they first showed the wall, I was like, oh, that's weird. At this point, I thought, you would just drown in the ocean. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, Keys is going to try to build a bridge to the island, but he warns Millie that Antoine will throw everything at her to stop her. So Guy says, well, let's gather all the NPCs and get them to help, um, help them to get... Oh, to get to a world where they can be free. Hmm. All the NPCs have the same AI capabilities as Guy. They just haven't explored them yet. And they all agree to help him. I do like that the scene, or the, the little, where the guy's got his hands yes. up the entire time and he tries to put him down. He's like, nope, nope, can't do it. Because <laughs> when they talk, too, about the other ones that have started to develop, oh. like the bombshell and stuff, yeah, it's all thing, people who have interacted with with Guy after he did it. Like, he talks to the bombshell during a oh, robbery. He's like, you yeah. don't have to do this. You can be, like, your own person. Yeah. And I forget what the other one is, but it's the, like... the um, When he tries to order the cappuccino. The yeah. barista. Yeah, so the that, barista. like, plants it in her that it, it, something else could exist. Yeah. Um, the other thing was when he's saying, our world doesn't have to be uh, this shitty place. How many times do you see oh, a yeah. dead body? And she goes... Never. <laughs> oh yeah. And then in your he world, says, in the like, real world, how often do the banks get robbed? Not often. Not often. Uh, do you have a lot of gun violence in your world? Yeah, it's a real problem, yeah, guy. Yeah, that's problem. bad. Like, I was not expecting that. Yeah, that's bad. <laughs> <laughs> we still have that. Um. So they all agree to help. All the players are looking for the NPCs, but they're all gone. Antoine figures out that Molotov is Millie, and he tells Mouser to boot her. Uh. He can't because she's really good at her job. I don't know. He, she spoofed her location or something? Like that. I don't know. He tells Mouser to kill her in the game, but the NPCs are gone. So Mouser says that... Or he tells Mouser to turn off the spawn points and then kill her, which would kill everyone's yeah, character. No one else could respawn ever, yeah. anywhere. Um, <clears throat> Mouser starts coding to try to kill Millie and Guy... But Keys is also coding, too, and he builds them a bridge to get to the island. Guy and Millie barely escape getting crushed. Antoine knows they're heading to Hitman's Beach, so he has the art people drop in Dude. Now, this, though, mm. when he's trying to figure mm. out what, like, how can we stop him, is the part that made me laugh the most. Because he, like, he's in the <sighs> office, and he sits down <laughs> like a yoga pose, like, what do we do, what do we do? And then he goes, okay. Kip up, and he starts like rocking. Like, kip up, kip up, and he's not. He can't do it, <laughs> and it's very funny to me. <laughs> oh, so he tells the art people to drop in, dude, and they're like, "Dude is not ready. Like, he's yeah. fifty percent done. Like, he's not ready for this." Antoine and Keys have a standoff in his office, and Keys builds the bridge past the shoreline. Mouser comes in and turns the TV on. Showing in-game stuff. Now, this is where I get a little fuzzy mm. because how are they streaming just random exactly what you need to see? That, that whatever. So they built it <clears> in. <throat> yeah. Um, Antoine tells Mouser to kick every player out of the game and cancel all their accounts. 
So he's obviously falling deeper and deeper down the craziness rabbit hole. Keys starts streaming uh, Guy, and everyone around the world tunes in. Dude finally gets uploaded, and he's a huge Jack version of Ryan Reynolds. This yes. is Aaron Reed's body with Ryan Reynolds' face. Yes. And the first thing he, do- he does is he punches Guy, and then he says, catchphrase. Because <laughs> he's not fully updated. Yeah, I didn't put it in there yet. <laughs> Uh, so he's got a blue shirt <laughs> tattoo on his chest That's and great. game over underwear. <laughs> I enjoyed this. Uh, it's not the greatest movie, but there's some good stuff in here. Yeah. Buddy shows up and starts rubbing d- dude's pecs before dude beats him up. And then he starts beating guy up. And he says, there's another one where he says, there's only three things I love in this world. Beating people up. The second thing. And third, <laughs> he doesn't have anything yet. Uh, second thing and a third. <laughs> and, t- and no, and TBD. That's what the third <laughs> one was. Yeah. Uh, all the streamers are watching the fight and they're cheering on Guy. Guy puts his sunglasses back on and gets a Captain America shield as... Um, now, this was... I knew there was... A, everything in this fight was like... I didn't know what half of them were. Yeah. Um, so he puts on the... cat, or he, he gets Captain America shield, and we cut to Chris Evans, who goes, What the, what the fuck? fuck? <laughs> Great. Fantastic. Um, and then he switches... He pulls his... Uh, guy makes his hand into a Hulk fist, and he punches dude before pulling out a lightsaber... And All those things I know. There was uh, a whole section of somebody. Who was it? Somebody goes, is that a goddamn lightsaber? <laughs> <laughs> Where is he getting this stuff? Um, the lightsaber, after he uses it a bit, turns into a unicorn hammer. This I didn't, I didn't sure know. A, I think yeah. it's from Fortnite, maybe. Probably. But yeah. I'm not sure. Um, and then it turns into an anti-gravity gun. Now, I don't know. I've seen... The anti gravity. That's gun. from an old game. Yeah, and I don't know that from. Is look. that from Portal? Well, he'd use the portal gun next, so mm-hmm. maybe. I forget. I read it was from an older game. I forget what one now. Yeah. Uh, so you, he uses the portal gun, but dude tackles guy th- back through the portal and starts crushing guy's chest just by like smushing him with his hands. But he picks up the sunglasses and throws them through the portal to guy who puts who puts them on and he's looking for something to help him. And then he decides, you know what? Takes them off and puts them on dude. And dude is just like, Ooh, big dumb guy. (laughs) Like looking at all the shiny things. (laughs) And he just walks away. Uh, Antoine and Mouser go down to the servers and Antoine finally admits that he stole the code. This is where, uh, he starts hitting, an axe, or he hits the servers with an axe, and the game starts going down. We see NPCs start running. Mouser finally stands up to Antoine and is immediately escorted off the premises. Guy and Buddy are running along the bridge that is deleting behind them. They get separated, and Buddy tells him to keep going as he gets deleted. This, this kind of made me laugh. With the the real-life security guard's loving Buddy. Yes. <laughs> that security guard is the oh, best. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> They turn on Antoine because yep. of this, this treatment of the virtual NPC security guard. I also like that um, as Mouser's getting escorted, he goes, you know, he can call you by your name. Because <laughs> he just calls security. Um, all the NPCs are getting deleted as they run towards the last building that's not being deleted. I don't know how they know to run to this building, but... Guy makes it to the Yeah, he's of- just hitting servers with the axe. Yeah. But this is the one that's not broken. Yeah. Guy makes it to the end of the bridge and jumps through the invisible wall. Um, everyone holds their breath. And then he lands on the island, which erases the invisible wall. Everyone sees that this game was used in under in the underlying code. Um, Antoine's been a dick. Millie shows up in the server room and she stops Antoine from killing the last server. She wants the original code, but will give him the profits and all the things coming from like later Free City sequels and stuff. I don't understand. She, yeah, She's like, I just want my game, basically. She, yeah. You can keep 
anything else. This one, you can keep the next game that you're already developing. Yeah. I just want my original game back. Yeah. Um, and he agrees. Then we see news programs showing that Antoine and Free City 2 are bombing. Mouser, Keys, and Millie are in an apartment with their free life game that they're making again. And this is where we get the big over overture of Keys is obviously in love with her, but she's oblivious mm. to it. Mm-hmm. She logs into the game and meets Guy. He breaks up with her because he knows she, she has to let him go. She can't keep logging on and spending all her time with an AI. And he says he loves her, and maybe it's just his programming saying that, but someone had to write that programming. And then Millie finds the video clip from Keys earlier where she must not have watched the entire clip. Yeah. Mm. And she realizes that he loves her, so she tracks him down at the coffee shop, and they stare lovingly at each other from across the street before running into the middle of the street and kissing, and then it fades to black. Presumably, hopefully, because they both got hit and killed by a car. <laughs> because you don't stand in the middle of the street, people. It's dangerous. <laughs> this is love, Wally. You just don't oh. get it. Wow. I almost hit two pedestrians today because they tried to cross as I had a green light. I'm like, are you fucking serious? And it was with they them. They right away. No. They're pedestrians. No, no, they didn't. They no, they didn't. They're pedestrians. They always have the right away. <laughs> <laughs> no, they don't. Not when they have a green light and they have the the stop signal with their hand with the hand saying you cannot cross the street right now. I will die on that hill. <laughs> I mean, just look at the the. <laughs> no, they shouldn't. They should be allowed to be the hit. laws of the road. Uh, we get a final scene where dude and guy are walking down the street talking about Buddy, who sh- who then shows up across the street. He's not gone. Yay! And they all that's it. Yeah, they kind of run towards each other like uh, yeah. like, like the real life people do. But see, they're AI. They can't die. Oh. <laughs> um it was it had moments. Fine. It had moments for yeah. sure. Nothing terrible. Nothing it was amazing. A good watch it once. Yeah, one off. This is a TBS movie in all of the ways, right? Absolutely. This is a TBS movie right yeah. now. Yeah. All right. It was fun. Fine. I enjoyed it. Things can be fine. And they don't have to be the worst. But it's not the best either. No. It's all right. There's some funny stuff in there. Yeah. All right, Wally, top five. You got it or no? Yes. Uh, shoot, where'd it go? Okay, so the NWSL regular season has started. And oh, my prediction. Go for Spirits. The, my prediction for the top five NWSL teams no, at, the, but... at the end of the year. Number five. It's really between Gotham and Chicago, but I'm going to go with Gotham FC. Because they're your so team. you're trying to pick six they in your are, top five. They are my they are my team. Mm-hmm. Number four is Kansas City Current. I think they're a lot better than people people realize. Who's on that team? <clears throat> well, they've got a lot of injuries right now, but Sam Mewis, um, Lynn Williams, she's out for the year though. Sam is not a Carolina Courage anymore. Nope, she got traded Ooh. over the. The wow. off season, I think wow. it was, or maybe it was last year. And Lynn remember. was also Carolina. I heard. agree. Yep, yep. Uh, number three is the Portland Thorns. Oh, it's too low, but sure. number two is the Washington Spirit. Spirit, and which they they got their championship rings, and those look fucking awesome. Go Spirit. And number one is Ol Rain. I think they're gonna, I think they're gonna win it this year. I have a question. Yes, Angel City FC. Is this a big deal just because it's? Because it's of the LA. group of owners and the, it's in L.A.? Or yeah. is there something... They were they had, like, on tonight, on the news, there was a big thing about them on national news. 22,000 first game. Okay. Sold out the but stadium. But they're just a new team, they're, right? It's, it's, their, it's yeah. just because this was all, their first like, regular women sports game. athletes are the owners? That's why it's a big yes. deal? Yeah. Okay. That's, that's the Isn't, biggest uh, what's her face, the old coach, the, they're one of their owners? Uh, she's not an owner. Jill Ellis is a... Jill's she's a... She's like their president or VP or something oh, like Billie that. Billie Jean King is an owner. Billie Jean King, And yep. Mia Hamm is one of them. <clears throat> I want to nice. say Serena. Possibly. I think Serena and her husband, Alex. Yes, Alexis Ohan- Ohan- Ohanian. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I believe but there's also owners. a San Diego. Team. They're they're a new team. They, I don't think they have anybody big name. Right. They have uh, Kristen Press. Yes, but like That's as a big in, name. as as for owner. Oh, uh, she's not the owner, right? Yeah. Okay, so the Seattle Rain. That's yeah, what you're saying. The OL Rain. 
They are no longer the Seattle Rain. They are the OL Rain. That's been like that for two or three years. What is now. OL again? Uh, it's just because they have ties with Olympic Lyon. Oh, Olympique Lyon. Mm, okay. Soccer's not confusing at all. <laughs> Quick hitters. <laughs> WWE has meanings on how to dress hot. According to Ember Moon, she was forced to go to these meetings where they were teaching girls, the ladies, how to dress hotter on TV. Maybe you need to go to these classes, Bill. What do you think? How I will to say, dress hotter. So I am the best dressed man here. Mm. Jill Ellis is part of is the president of San Diego, not of Angel City. So oh, okay. Had to, had to clear that up. How to dress I, hotter. I mean, that's terrible. I, I mean, could use some lessons, though. Sure, why not? Ember Moon was like, uh, yeah, that's not my thing. That's not why I'm here. What yeah, you, no, no. Why are you making me do this? Are they sending the men to these as well, or was I don't it just believe women? so. I think All it was right. just the ladies. That's about right. Bo yeah. Dallas is coming back to wrestling. Are you interested in a Bo Dallas return? I mean, no. I want to see. But he mm. could do things, possibly. I want to see Bo Dallas and Bray Wyatt as mm. the new Steiner brothers. This is a lot of things mixed in together. What is? Uh, Because they're actually brothers, right? They are. All right, there you go. There you go. That's how it works. (laughs) MJF has been messing with Wardlow. And making him do all kinds of crazy stuff, which is MJF. But they already had like a fight, like a breakup. They had their breakup, but uh, Wardlow was employed. The story is a very good storyline. Wardlow was employed by MJF, not by AEW. So he's not allowed in the building. He's not a contracted wrestler, except when MJF decides to pay him to get try to get beat up by big guys. So he faced Lance Archer and others. Okay. And this past week on AEW, he said uh, MJF got on the phone and said, "Hey, big man, I'll pay you six figures to come in." And he hung up and he goes, "And you can't teach that." <laughs> so it's going to be Big Cass apparently coming over from Impact to uh, face Wardlow. So. Excited to see cool. Big Cass come into. It seems like AEW. Big Cass is doing a lot better these days. He is. Big He's doing good on Impact. Cass. Was that Enzo? With Enzo, and Enzo? Cass. Yeah. Oh. So Big Cass will be in AEW. Oofa. Yeah. So we'll Ooh. see how that goes. Uh, but he's been doing well in Swoft. Impact. Swoft. Swoft. Phoenix, Ray Phoenix is back finally he's, after his uh, weird very arm. Good wrestler when he wants to be. Terrible arm injury. He's back. So good to see him back. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Sad news. The Iconics are leaving wrestling. All together? All together. They left. They quit. I didn't know that. Why Impact did and retired from ingering competition to pursue careers in acting. I mean, uh, okay. So it stinks, but okay. Stinks, but good for them. That's what they want to do. Were they act- were they really good wrestlers? They no. were the great right entertainers. Yes. Yeah, great at entertaining, not okay. the best in ring. So this is probably a, the right move for them. It's still sad, though. It me. is, yes. This is, come on. They're not even that old. How old are they? 30? Not even? Mid-30s, I think. I don't even think they're mid-30s. Uh, Scorpio, Sky is your, once again, TNT champion. So we flip-flopped it now like six they went times. back to him now? Now it's back on him. Very odd. No more Dark Side of the Ring documentaries. The series, for some weird, dumb reason, is not picked up by Vice. That's So Dark Side of the Ring is either done or moving to a new network, which is unfortunate. They could just move to the internet, I feel like. They probably should. What was your favorite Dark Side of the Ring that you saw? 32 and 29 are their ages. Not old at all. Not old. Uh... What's your favorite Dark Side of the Ring? I'm trying to think watch? of which ones actually, because I haven't seen a ton of them. Oh, wait, what are we talking? The Dark, Dark Side, Side of the Ring, the documentaries. You oh, watched no a more bunch of them. them. No more. Oh, they're, geez. they're finished. Or um, either finished. The craziest one might have been New Vice. Jack. Oh, New Jack. New Jack. We nice. did that one on a review, and everyone hates it on YouTube. It's got a lot of dislikes. Well, <laughs> People don't like. There's we, things in it to not like. People don't like. It's a crazy story. People do not like what we said about New Jack. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh really? Yeah, that's what it is. Oh yeah, oh, that's kind of funny. So we didn't say only that he's the we, best. We said that he's a bad person, and people did not like that. Even though he is a bad person, he's yeah. not a good person. Uh, he stabs you know people. I, mean, I had a lot of fun watching the Scorpio, uh, Too Cold Scorpio versus Hawk. Oh, that part that of Korea. Part of the Korean. Yeah. I mean, one. Korea was yeah. crazy, anyways. That was the best part. That of was it. awesome. 
I'm tr- um, yeah, I'm trying to remember. I didn't see a lot of the other big ones that everybody was excited I'm, for. Uh, I think I saw Pillman. That one was good. I didn't see that one. Pillman was a two part. I like though. Pillman. That was good. Um, I didn't see the plane ride from hell one. Yeah, I don't. The Von Erichs was a really good one. Oh, didn't yeah. see yeah, that even that's even though it was story. depressing as hell. Yeah, so no more Dark Side of the Ring unless it goes to the internet, which hopefully it does. The uh, Brawl for All was kind of funny. The Brawl for All, <laughs> gotta love that. The Rock is 50. Happy birthday to The Rock. Dwayne, the Dwayne Johnson. That's 50 crazy. Years old. 50, wow. He's 50. Wow. Yeah, he's huge. He's old and he's huge. All right, time for Tweets of the Week. There's a couple, not a ton. Verse 1, Trent question mark said, Big Match Greg, Ring of Honor TV title. Man Wrestling. The picture of him and Samoa Joe. Tony Khan replies, I live for this shit, Greg. <laughs> oh, that's the good version of Tony Khan on Twitter. Most of the time, he's not that version. That's true. This was awesome. Purasawa Flow, Flosion. Purasawa Flow on Twitter. A clip of May Segura doing a. Running crossbody off of the turnbuckle. Yeah, that, that looks at awesome. At Stardom Cinderella Finals on April 29th, which is an awesome-looking move. Then we go to this crazy-ass move, also from the same account, which is Kenny oh Omega God. murdering a guy oh, in top. DDT. Murdering a guy. What uh, are they supposed to be doing I here? don't even know. He smashes this dude off the is, top rope. Kenny's in the green, right? He's in the green. He, it just looks like he's just falling backwards onto the onto guy's this head. guy's face. This is my first match back from a cracked sternum. Yamato didn't care. He wanted that belt. I didn't win, but I did my best to make him earn it. Jesus Christ, that was impressive. That's the other. There's tweet. another great story coming out yeah. of this match involving Yamato's teeth. Yeah. I want to know what that is. I want to know that too. All right, that is the end of tweets of the week, and it's time once again for you, Bill, to pick a review. In part because I want to, but also in part because I wasn't especially prepared. Mm. Uh, we're gonna watch number six. <laughs> of the I Royal figured Rumble. this is coming. 1993. Yeah. There's, Royal I Rumble. just looked quickly, and there's some stuff I had forgotten about in this one. Put that cigarette out. I believe this is when we did the quiz the one time, or the uh This trivia. is the one I couldn't come up it's with. It's the only one you couldn't come up yeah, with. Yeah, couldn't come up with the winner of who. Could so not, now, because of that, I know. Could not come up with the winner. But when I looked real quick, there were some things that I thought, like, oh, yes, I forgot that this is, like, part of it. I'm surprised at how, speed, how much speed we're moving through this. Well, that's because you got two people doing it. Yeah, I don't that's know. If I, I won't do it every week, but when I'm not ready, that's what I'll I'm do. I'm surprised that we're moving so quickly through this. But this uh, is number six, right? Yep. Number six. Um, right now, Royal Rumble '92 has a commanding lead, and it's probably going to be very difficult to it defeat. Is. This one, though, it appears we're going to have some new faces popping up. I like it. So, uh, I did also put this out on Twitter. If we continue with this format of uh, reviews. What would be another good thing to review? I don't know if it has to be a match or a series of matches. But if you got one, I mean, Hell in the Cell was the first thing that popped in my head. But I'm like, there's so many bad Hell in the Cells. I don't know yeah, if that's yeah. worth They're awesome to start. And then it, yeah, yeah, I don't know if that's worth doing an entire catalog of Hell in the Cells after right. the year 2005, maybe. <laughs> maybe just go to that and then Und- stop. Undertaker's reign in, w- or in WrestleMania? His undefeated streak. Oh, that would be interesting. Yeah. That's a good one. Huh. That would be good. I like that. Look at that. Look at you. Look, look at me look go. At look at you producing the show. Wrestling. Look at you. Uh, uh, you could do TLCs. Right? Could do Those all the fun. elimination cage matches. Ugh. <laughs> good God. I don't think that was ever any good. Or we could just watch every WrestleMania full thing. Every WrestleMania full thing? Yeah. That's quite a... That's a great way to make me quit. Ten hours at a time. <laughs> oh, my God. And we'll God. get it done in, like, two years. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, I don't want to do you that. You do all either. the in-your-houses, but they're, they're, again, they're yeah, not... There's some that I don't... They're not, uh, they're not full, like, three shit. or four hours. They're all two-hour <laughs> the pay-per-views. They're short. So, I mean, that's possible, but they're still long. 
Okay. All right. So Royal Rumble 93, you're up. Mm-hmm. Put that cigarette out. I was back again. <laughs> back again. Uh, all right. That's it. Peace out. See ya. See ya. See ya. See ya. Yeah, you said it. I said your thing. Sorry. See ya.